So this is one for the gal them out here. Safety advice for the gal them out here. This is advice I'd give to my little sister. Trust no man. Never make a man feel like you owe him something. So the way this video came about is because me and my brethren have been missing each other over the last couple of months. I'll be down in Edmonton, I'm free, but he's busy. I'll be down in Edmonton, I'm busy, but he's free. You know how it goes sometimes. So I managed to catch up with him yesterday. Just had to go down to his yard to quickly fit a socket for him. So little five, ten minute job, nothing long. Fitted the socket. And yeah, he's gonna try and pay me for it. And I was like, nah man, it's cool. He's like, you sure? I'm like, yeah man. Get me a little quick five, ten minute bam 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 job in it, yeah. It's not like man was doing madness and I was there for a long time. So I was like, don't watch them. And he said, in his culture, in his community, and that, when someone does something for you, you make sure you pay them. And I understand what he's saying. I actually turned around and I said to him, you know, I've had to tell girls that before, you know. Never allow a man to think that you owe him something. Don't let men do stuff for free because there's always an agenda. Got a couple stories to tell. The first one. When I was 19, I had a 17-year-old girlfriend. And on her road, there was a guy that lived about 10 doors down, so like one of her neighbours. I don't know if he was a family friend or he was just a neighbour that was kind of cool with the dad. Anyway... Obviously, she had to travel down from Ilford to Edmonton to come check, man. And this neighbour guy, he's like a cab driver or whatever. He told her, anytime you need any lifts anywhere, up there, over there, or if you need to go to Edmonton, I'll drive you down there for free. So she came back and she told me that. And I was like, nah, don't get in this guy's car. Don't even pay him for no cab journeys. And that. My man's got things on his mind. Like, pre the situation for what it is. Why the hell would a 40 Ross Clark year old man be giving a 17 year old girl lifts for free if he didn't have nothing on his mind? My man's probably trying to do something. My man's trying to probably trying to prey upon the girl, make her feel comfortable and that. Trust no one. And what happened? See, girl, they don't like to listen to advice. They feel like, oh, I've known him for 10 years, so he's cool and that. Nah. Trust no one. What happened? The girl didn't want to listen to me. Oh, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. One time she was in the car with him, he tried to put his hand on her leg. Obviously, when I heard that, I had to go down there and swipe the situation, which I'll never do again because I could have put myself in prison for a girl that I don't even talk to no more. But yeah, it just goes to show that like, women are so naive that a man, an outsider, can look at a situation that, because you have to check it. Man was always a wise man, and that even when I was on the wrong path, and I could see the situation for what it was, he was trying to do stuff so that. He could get brownie points. There's certain men out here that feel like if they do stuff for a girl, it's the gateway to their legs opening up and that. Certain men are so needy, certain, certain men are so simple. They feel like the only value that they can bring is providing a service to a girl, not just themselves. So they all do stuff for free and that, and there's always an agenda behind it. If you're a girl watching this right now, if there's a guy about that's trying to do stuff for free, I'm telling you, he has other ulterior motives on his mind. You need to be careful of him. Because why the hell would he do it for free if he didn't have other things on his mind? So anyway, so that was the first instance where I clocked like, yeah, men will really be out here doing shit for free. And they want stuff in return, but they're not stating their intentions. And uh, man got a problem with that. Second situation. So my girl, she's half Polish, half Iraqi. So like a lot of foreign people and that, when they come over to the UK, they got their little... Facebook groups and they might have like a Polish Facebook group for London. So my girl was staying down there, like around northwest London side, isn't it? So she had a problem with her car and uh, she must have went on a Polish Facebook group. Like, oh, who can fix this problem and that? Let me tell you about the amount of men that she told me were offering to do it for free. Even though it's a, a little 80 pound job and that. They don't know her from Adam, they don't know her from Norway. Why are they trying to do this job for free? They're trying to do this job for free because they feel like it's access to in between her legs and that. I've got a problem with that. I told her, don't let no man do it for free and you always pay them. I'm telling you, certain man will feel like, blood, I've done this for free and yeah, now you owe me. And certain man don't know the boundaries, you know. Hopefully, if a girl is getting a guy to do something for free, hopefully he understands the boundaries. There's certain man, they don't understand the boundaries, you know, and they will take it a step further. Never allow a man to do something for free. So he always got something on his mind. 
Next situation. If you've been watching me long enough, you'll know say, that my girl's a mortgage broker. So around about November, December time, she's doing the training to become a mortgage broker. While she's on the academy training, she's meeting other trainees, members of staff, managers, directors. She's also talking to managers and directors over Zoom so they know what she looks like. So this company, they like to do things big and extravagant. They hired out a hotel to have the Christmas function. I've even been to a hotel for a wedding before. It's an appropriate place because they've got a big hall. Now, uh, sometimes they've got a big hall for a banquet in Sweden. So boom, they hired out this hotel. Now, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's me, but they're just trainees and that. Why are they really inviting them to the Christmas party? Like It's a big company. And I would assume that they would just invite select people and that. But all right, cool. Give them the benefit of the doubt that they're going to invite the trainees to the Christmas function. But what sounded fishy to me was the director and that contacted her and said, yeah, you know, we want you to come to this Christmas function and we've got a hotel book for you. Like, what? what do you mean you got a hotel room book? Now, obviously, naturally, they will know people are going there to drink and have fun and that so they're going to get wasted it's a christmas party it's the end of year party and that they're going to get wasted but me as a director if i don't know no fucking employees some new trainees and that well you, you're invited but you make your own fucking way home i'm not going to pay for your rascal accommodation who are you to me you're not even qualified you're not even being through probation and that for me to be booking hotel rooms and that so i figured to myself like when i hear this and that 101 things is going through my mind and that because me, man is not naive, I'm not no girl out here. I always know there's an agenda. There's always a reason behind everything. So she told me, yeah, the, the director or the manager or whatever must have said, yeah, there's a hotel room booked and that. Um, so I heard that. I'm like, All right, cool. So anyway, um, when it came closer to the time, something wrong with her car. She was like, listen, told whoever the manager or the director, there's something wrong with the car. I don't know if I'm going to get it fixed in time for this Christmas party and uh, my man panicked you know oh don't worry about it um I know someone that lives about five miles down the road I will make sure they pick you up from your house drive you down to the 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 Christmas do and then I'll have someone else to take you back or whatever and I'm thinking what why is a man going out of his way to break his neck to get this person or that person to drive you to and from this place like who the fuck are you to them when I hear things like that I know it's a fucking red flag then I think on the day, like, my girl was surely really interested or something. Like, she's, I think she made up an excuse. Ah, oh, you know, I'm not feeling well now. My mum's trying to phone her up and beg her, you know. Oh, no, no, calm down, man. No, don't miss it, man. You'll be all right. And I'm not thinking, nah, there's fucking intentions, blood. I'm telling you, man, I even had to sit my girl down and say, like, yo, you're being naive to the situation. Like, you just think, oh, a man's being cool and that. Nah, I see, I see a man's intentions. You get me? I see through all the bullshit. And I had to sit her down and say to her, you look a certain way, so this is the reason why these men really want you to come down to the fucking Christmas party and get drunk. I said to her, if you were some fat, overweight woman with a moustache and a hairy mole, do you think your manager and your director and whoever these people are will be begging you to come to this Christmas function? She said no. So there you go. They don't give a fuck about you per se. They want to try and get you into bed. I'm telling you. Certain people might watch this and think, oh, no, nah, man, that's a bit extreme in that. There are managers that would hire out. I'm not saying they're doing it to get women into bed and that, but I'm telling you, there are managers and directors that would take advantage of a situation. There are managers and directors that would, you know, know that, oh, one of the employees is on training. One of the trainees is drunk and that. And they will turn up to the hotel room and force themselves on the gal, you know, they will turn up to the hotel room whilst the girl is drunk and say, how much do you want this fucking job? You know what you need to do. This is how it happens. You hear about all them stories in America and then over there in the UK. It could happen to you as a girl. Girl out here, they're, they're, they're naive. It can happen to them. That's how girls get raped. Manager will turn up to the hotel room and try and force himself on a girl. So, yeah, fucking madness and that. Literally, this is how I just work things out in life. If you're ever unsure of a situation, and if you're ever unsure, like, oh, why is this person dealing with me this way? 
Just change the variable, change the scenario. If my girl was some fat, overweight woman with a hairy mole and she stank a B.O. on that, do you think my man would be breaking his neck to get my girl over to the, the Christmas party and that? It's because he see her and he rates her and that, so he's thinking, yeah, man, let me try and get me, see if I can push myself up on her and that. I'm not saying a man would make a move right then and there, but just the fact that a man wants to be in close proximity. Why, blood? Why do you care? They care because they think she's hot, fam. They care because they want to try and make a move on her. Think about it this way. you got two gal going for exactly the same job, bro. They're the same age. They've got the same qualifications. One of them is a dead ting, blood. The other one, painting. 10 out of 10 Instagram model. Which one of the two do you think is going to get the job? You've got a male manager interviewing the two gyal them, the same age, same qualifications. One is dead. One of them, you, you walk past in the street, what you remember? The other thing, five star fire gyal. Which one do you think is going to get the job? You know it's going to be the nice one. Because a man will think to so, if I hire her, I'm in close proximity to a buff thing. I want to make a move on her. This is a subconscious thing that goes on in man's head, bro. Gyal them need to stop being naive out here. Trust no one. All these men, yeah, that you got in the friends on and that, they want to get in between your legs, blood. If you don't believe me, if you was a fat, overweight, ugly, I have to keep using this analogy, but if you was a fat, overweight, ugly gal and you smell a B.O. from time to time, do you think that same guy that's in your friend zone would still be your friend? Do you think he'll be your friend anyway? I see it on a Fresh and Fit podcast. These girls think that these guys just want to be their friends because they're cool. But no, they want to get in between their legs. They've had girls text their so-called male friend, platonic friend. Oh, yeah, you know, like, do you want to hook up and that? One of the times, one of the girls phoned up one of the guys, they done it as a, they said, they don't believe that any guys can be friends with a girl without actually want to sleep with her. So they got one of the girls on the podcast to contact one of the quote-unquote friends. Talking to him and saying, yeah, boom, like, you know, I think, you know, we should hook up and that. Long story short, the guy turned up to the podcast, blood, to try and beat the girl. He thought that she was in a hotel room or Airbnb. My man came to fuck his friend. This guy had been in the friend zone for like five years and that. Man, them, if you got any, if you got a girl and she's got male friends, just know they secretly want to get in between their legs. I don't give a fuck if they've never made a move on a certain amount of pussies. They secretly want to get in between their legs. I don't business. Unless my man's been her friend since they were five years old or something like that. I'm telling you. Or unless your gal is dead. But why are you with a girl that's dead? They secretly want to get in between their legs, blood. And at any moment, if the time is right, they will pounce. There's certain man, they'll be in the friend zone for five to ten years. Just waiting for that moment of weakness so that they can make their move. Dangerous characters out here. Dangerous characters are. This is why girls don't like guys who uh, act all nice and they all act like, no, they don't really want nothing from women. But come blood, you're, you're not stating your intentions and that. You're coming on some snaky thing. You're trying to, act, it's like it's like a man trying to, it's like a, you're a man and it's like a man trying to be your friend just so he can make money out of you or just so he can use you. It's the same thing. Imagine, imagine you had someone in your friend, you're, you get me, you're a man, you have someone that, Claims to be your friend, but you find out they're only your friend just because you got money and you can bring them down. And you're gonna to want to dismiss them. So, gallon need to stop being naive out here. Ain't it? Stop letting men do stuff for free. I know, like, hey, listen, if I was a girl, if I could get a little freebie here and there, but I'm telling you, you might backfire. You know, one day, one day you're gonna come across some mania. Stop being naive. Stop letting men do stuff for free. Ain't it? Don't make a man think that you owe him something because trust me. One day it will backfire. Yeah, man, that's it. Stay with us, don't know.